Hey, what's up? Citizen Meta One here. Today, I'm going to be going through a couple cool projects that are related to MetaHumans, Unreal Engine, VTubing, mocap, and that sort of universe. Uh, these are projects that caught my eye on the internet, and I wanted to give my take on them and shout out the creators that were working on them. So I'm going to lock my hands down here. So first on the list is Raised Blaze, and I found his first video on Control Rig, that's the first one I watched, and then I went and saw his second one. And I just wanted to show these videos real quick, kind of talk about them. So, the first video he has here shows his process of building a custom control rig for his custom character, which is clearly the Flash here. And he goes through the entire process of building a control rig for this character that doesn't have one, right? So I think a lot of people try to use the Unreal Engine Mannequin control rig, and that doesn't always go perfectly onto your custom character for many reasons. Different types of skeletons, tail bones, extra stuff like that. So it really does benefit you if you're a technical artist uh, or like a real-time rigger uh, to be able to make your own control rig. And he takes you through the full process and ends up with a rig that's pretty much comparable to the Unreal Engine Mannequin control rig if you've ever seen that out there. So number two on the list is Feeding Wolves and she released two videos this week uh, talking about her virtual production process and uh, also does a lot of work with face square and xsends and manis and is doing some of the best getting some of the best results from those systems she released a video or two kind of breaking down the process and what i would say is that it's very detailed for when you're getting into it like when i start to get into xsends and manis and, and uh, having to get that to actually work i will be watching these videos many times over and I just wanted to share like towards the end here there's a bunch of stuff that she's working on but this is one of the cleanest retargets to a metahuman from mocap that I have seen this is much better than my retarget to Rococo her calibrations are really good like her hands like actually almost touch properly which is very hard to do with a notion mocap her hand retarget from Manus is perfect it's way better than mine <laughs> mine is not good still working on that uh, so shout out Feeding Wolves. This is like one of the best retargets to the metahuman I have ever seen. Like that looks completely normal. And that's hard to do. Making the metahumans look completely normal from mocap is like, that's the goal. That is the goal. And she has pulled that off. Next is uh, a VTuber I found on Twitch or Twitter. I forget. I am uh, very actively learning about the VTuber scene. Uh, one VTuber at a time, really. So Angel, uh, don't know exactly how to pronounce value. I believe she's a French-speaking VTuber, so not an EN English-speaking VTuber. Um, and she recently posted her re-debut. So I haven't started to talk about actual like VTuber uh, like culture on this channel yet, but it's coming. It's coming. So she looks like she was starting off playing games using uh, what looks like to be like a Vroid character. And I believe VC Face is the way that she was probably controlling it. People who are mostly working in Unreal Engine never heard of VC Face, never heard of some of these other Unity-based uh, VTubing apps. I'm going to cover those as well. But she has a video talking about Code Miko, clearly AI Angel, and Fovamit here, who are kind of like the front runners of the VTubers. And what's cool about uh, Miko and AI Angel is they're both uh, Unreal Engine 4 powered or Unreal Engine powered, whereas Fofam it's Unity, but she gets a pass because she's like putting a lot of good content out there. And I learned a lot from her videos on how to do mocap live and we'll call that VTubing for now. So this is a re-debut. Uh, again, she has been, I'm, I'm, I'm just being introduced to her content by the way, but I believe she'd been streaming with a v, with a uh, Vroid character. And so this is clips from her re-debut uh, and it's much different now, right? So now she's using a custom character. She does shout out the artist. I forget where in the link. And so this is a custom made uh, character here. You can see the secondaries on her hair, something to point out immediately. And I believe she's using a perception neuron suit. I don't know what version for her full body mocap. So it's very much like uh, a Code Miko setup with inertial mocap setup here. And I believe she's using VC face still for her face solver which is nice because it doesn't need an iPhone. Uh, VC Face is going to be webcam based 
And we don't quite have that for Unreal Engine yet. No one has ported the OpenCV libraries to allow us to do that. But I almost guarantee you we'll have a webcam based solver for Unreal Engine built into the engine soon enough. So her setup is pretty complex. I'm pretty sure it's modeled closely off of Code Miko. So she can go into full body mocap mode. So she's wearing the suit while, v while VTubing. I'm not wearing any suits while I'm VTubing. I do not want to wear a suit for four hours. But she's really going for it. This is like the full thing. Uh, perception neuron suit while VTubing, gloves. Uh, and a webcam solver for her face, so VC face. But she can also go into a seated mode, very clever. That's like where I'm primarily working right now is just having like a preset uh, sitting at my computer mode. And you might have seen it, she has a flip point of view or this is a full 3D world that she could put a camera anywhere, but she has a view where it basically shows the uh, her screen. So she can see her chat that way, she can play games and uh, she can do interviews. Uh, th this is like essentially, um, what Code Miko has going. And so this video is pretty cool. Uh, it talks about her process and her journey to get here. So this is like perception plus VC face. It's a very clever way to go about it. I never considered that. Um, and she talks about the uh, process of working with an artist and getting up to speed here. And it's pretty cool. I haven't started VTubing in a full 3D space. And actually I, I started there, but I haven't been lately. But it is very cool and it, it, it really makes it feel like more like you're watching like a real person because you're just completely immersed in it. Whereas I've been doing a lot of green screen base lately. But you'll see that she's even using the Unreal Legend mannequin animations. <laughs> so those are funny. Always funny to see those on uh, feminine characters because they're very shouldery animations. And last but not least, uh, I do not ha know how to properly pronounce uh, Hero's full name, but uh, we've been following each other on various platforms back and forth for a while. I don't know the actual details of the characters he make makes, but you know, before MetaHumans, he has been posting very realistic avatars for a very long time. And anytime I post anything about VTubing on my main Twitter, he always likes it. And I follow him on, I think on Instagram and we follow each other on different platforms, but I've been tracking his uh, digital human work for quite a while. And I'm pretty sure he's considering bringing his character into the MetaHuman world, either transferring the bone setup or however you transfer the metahuman uh, logic to uh, a custom character. I'm pretty sure he's looking at that. And so he's looking at something called FaceGood, which is a very new uh, video based face solver. It's basically like faceware. You can think about it. Uh, that has their own hardware, but more importantly, a video to face solver. And more importantly than that, a reasonably good, <laughs> or more than reasonably good, uh, translation remap back to the metahuman here. And so this is what we're looking at, right? So that's the hardware, that's the new helmet. This is, you know, a wide camera, video camera. Needs some lights on it. But what's even more interesting, right? This is the solver, looks like dynamics, looks like a face wear solver, right? The, um, it's at the core, there's I believe there's free OpenCV libraries to do this type of stuff. I imagine that he has taken that and done something better, right? I, I imagine this isn't that stock, you know, webcam face tracking stuff that most people are using. I imagine it's gone a little bit better. And on top of that, from a marketing point of view, this company is clearly marketing directly to the MetaHuman users. And this is some of the best mapping from, you know, a, a generic face solver back to the metahuman and i'm specifically specifically talking about lips bite lips press and lips tighten those are a pretty complicated set of controls to get right and if you look at how the deformations are happening on the lips uh as they push together that's very hard to do it's very very hard to get get that to happen that's something the ar kit almost positively cannot get done um, not natively anyway. So this face good solver, not only from a hardware and initial solve, which is like the actual like video solver, but how they've remapped it back to the metahuman. It is some of the best I've seen. And I think faceware is, com is probably comparable. I haven't looked at the results lately. Um, but anyway, I thought this was really cool too. Anyway, hands are back out. So that wraps it up for this week. Uh, a couple cool projects in the MetaHuman VTuber live animation space that I wanted to share for people that aren't as actively obsessed with it as I am. 
shout out to those, to, to those creators watching the stuff that you're doing. Uh, it's very cool to see the Unreal Engine live mocap and post cleanup animation mocap, just to see the creators in the Unreal Engine animation space, maybe we can say generically, growing, looking for new content, new creators, so that I can be motivated and basically steal the cool stuff that they're doing in a good way. It's good stealing, but work, you know, share ideas and concepts so that we're all doing better work. So that wraps up for this video. I'll see you on the next one.